Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be messing with the awesome Lenovo XR650 which I'm gonna be um, changing out to be my 24-7 um, host that will be doing all the work. That also means that it has to take care of the internet and I have an internet connection that is coming in. I actually have a fiber optic connection. It's a really quick one. One gigabit both up and down. It's just about the fastest you can get around here. But um, I want that to go into the server and I do that already on the Lenovo X3650 model 4. And first I wanna go over how I do that. Oh, here we have the, the thingy. <laughs> Stay. Hmm. This is the server and on the back of the server there is uh, there is four network ports I have already talked about these in a video I have four of these and each of them are 10 gigabits yeah. um, I have a big switch um, a main switch uh, well, I actually have two big switches. One of them is 10 gigabit. And one of them is 48 ports. One gigabit. Oh. There. So what I normally do is that up here there's a few ports RJ45 connections and the internet cloud comes through some router thing from the internet provider goes in here in uh, one of the ports and it just does that so that it's possible to uh, to move to another server if I need that um, but for the time being we're gonna we're gonna make like that isn't it because it's not not really necessary to what we're gonna do so we have a one gigabit internet connection coming in here and I want to put that into uh, directly into the server there and then inside the server this server is running ESXi uh, 6.7 we could put that down here and on that server I have a virtual machine um, Let's make a virtual machine here, and that is PFSense. PFSense, and PFSense, I give access to this network card. Well, actually, I make a virtual switch on the server, and that switch is connected to that port here. There, and that's the only thing it's connected to, except it is also connected to PFSense. There. So PFSense has connection to this one gigabit, one gigabit internet connection, and then PFSense shares that uh, with with all the other servers. But also that is oh that goes in like there's an, there's another virtual switch in there where all the normal servers are connected, and it goes back. How do I draw that? It it goes back to this connection here so um, also one of these 10 gigabit connections on the server goes out and it goes to all the other stuff in the rack it, it does that through the switches up here oh boy that was a horrible drawing but I have a virtual machine that is a router on the server that is running okay maybe this is better we have the internet here and that comes in and goes to a ISP modem there's a fiber optic connection that goes into the house and then that is uh, converted and that's actually an RJ45 connection BNC cable uh, that goes into the to the server which I actually connected in a previous video because I needed to convert that from SFP plus and down to RJ45 connection so we put that in the server and then PFSense inside the server is doing the routing doing the routing and it shares it with all the other virtual machines 
and with the switches and what I want to do today is to make the virtual switch inside of VMware okay that uh, white box on the bottom there that's the modem and uh, you can't really see the internet connection going in because it's, it's in that it, it comes in that pipe over here and goes in uh, it's just it looks like there's only power and an and ethernet connection going out but that's not the case there is also a fiber optic cable going in I have another internet connection which is uh, hanging right there this one cables wasn't long enough so this one is some Wi-Fi on the roof and I've connected that to the server here it goes in there so um, something is connected so we have something to test with we have moved to the computer here and this is my brand new installed VMware ESXi 6.7 on the awesome Lenovo SR650 and uh, we didn't do I installed it and I didn't touch it so I haven't touched it since well we tried to firmware update it and that partly worked so what I want to do I have the uh, the old one over here on my PFSense that's PFSense right there PFSense router and uh, if you see down here it has two network cards it has uh, one network adapter and that is connected to uh, primary net uh, internet and the other one is is connected to the standard VM network and I want to do the same thing on um, the new server and these are two different switches so they are not the same virtual switch so let's go back and create something similar so we need to go down to network and click network and here we have virtual switches we can see that we already have one there and that is connected if you look over here it has a physical network adapter that is connected to the 10 gigabit ethernet card to the, the normal switch and there is I don't have any virtual machines on this server yet so there is only the very standard very minimum over here the server itself is connected to this one so yeah that's um, that's where all the virtual machines are going to be connected only the router will be using the other switch and the other switch well it will have a physical connection and the router so we are going to go back to networking here and we're going to create the new virtual switch and it's so simple you, you press here and we get to give it the name our virtual switch so let's call it the, um, the internet switch and here we can already select an uplink port um, which is very uh, nice you can see that it has um, it's not showing us VM NIC 0 because that is already in use but it's showing us VM NIC 1 which we just saw in the data center and it's a 1 gigabit connection and that adds up that should be just about right so it has picked the right one and then link discovery security I think we are good to go fine and so we get a new switch and we need to create a port group for our new switch so we will add port group and we will call that internet Plan ID and we get to select another switch and we need to put it on our internet switch there security VLAN zero it's fine add so now we have created our internet port and it is also connected to the physical NIC we can see that this is connected and this is connected and this one is Apparently also connected, but that's some internal stuff. So now we have a um, we have an internal switch that we can connect stuff to. Uh, should we just try and make the the empty shell of a of a router? We we could do that. Uh, host, and uh, we will make as if we are creating a new VM. Create new VM. Create new virtual machine. Check next. Router. Uh, we're gonna put it on that one. We we'll just that's usually Linux something. Guest operation. We just got some Debian something that looks nice. That's a GUI. Next, 
it could be that size data store. I haven't really created the storage on this server yet, so we'll just put it there, that's fine. And here we can see all the different stuff that will be added to the server. We can, we can, you know, give it two CPUs. We can give it two gigabytes of memory, 16 gigabytes of hard disk space. That's very nice. And we have a network adapter down here. And that one is connected to internet port, but we can pick the other one as well. So we can, we can have internet port on one and VM network if we create one more. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add a network card, uh, add network adapter here. And that one we will, let's see, network adapter one and network adapter. That's irritating why they don't call it one and two. But we would then connect that to the other one. That way it can route from the internet and to the other part of the network in my network. So, next. Okay, finish and it will be our virtual machine here. It's just an empty, empty spot for one. There, if we look at it, it will have those two network connections and we can now connect it to that internet switch and it would be able to do some routing for us. And it seems that network adapter one and network adapter two, it has, it has renamed them, that's awesome. That was about what I was up to. Now I would be able to create a real router and uh, route my internet connection to my network. So, uh, fixed. That was easy. That wasn't too hard. We created a virtual switch on the EXXI host and we could actually make two virtual switches so I could have the internet connection coming in from my Wi-Fi network and from my fiber optic network into the same server and I could have some mechanism choose which internet connection should be used for what. I do believe that it's possible to have PFSense um, manage two internet connections. I have always dreamed about it, I have actually never gotten to do it. I've done the preparations for having two internet connections, but uh, then something else got interesting. So, and today's sponsor, Bargain Hardware. Remember, if you need some new toys, go visit Bargain Hardware bargainhardware.co.uk where you get 5% off of your purchase if you use the checkout code, coupon code, discount code, my playhouse, small letters, and they have all kind of good stuff, usually at very good prices, and the service is top notch. So remember to give this video a little like. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again, and have a really nice day. Bye bye.